So a pink highlighter and a yellow gold highlighter. As, as what? <laughs> a pink and a gold highlighter, as well as the ones that I already packed. Hey guys, Alexandra here, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you will stick around and click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss future videos. And if you're returning, welcome back. Um, so today I'm here with a little bit of a different video. I thought it might be fun to do a what's in my makeup travel bag, what am I traveling with. Um, I thought that might be a little bit of an interesting video for you guys. It's something I've never done before. And you guys can pack with me. So, if you guys want to see what I'm packing on my trip, then just keep watching. Okie dokie. So, as you guys probably guessed if you've been on the channel before, I'm using my Joy Mongo bag again. And I wanted to show you what was I, what, what was I, <laughs> what I was packing in it along with the other stuff that I'm bringing with me. So first things first, let's jump into this bad boy. All right, so I packed a little differently than I did the last time because I had more time and I know I'm going to be getting all fancy and pretty uh, while I'm in D.C. So I wanted to show you what I was going to bring. So. The first pouch I have here is face stuff. So, of course, I'm bringing my beauty blender because I need it. Um, this actually. So, for foundation, I decided to bring um, two foundations, one to try, and then a BB cream because apparently I packed too much makeup. So, um, I'm going to bring my Holy Grail, the Rimmel Lasting Finish uh, 24 hour wear that I transferred over into this bottle. I'm going to take that with me because I know it always looks good in pictures and I can count on it to work. So I'm going to bring this. Um, I'm also going to bring the uh, Makeup Forever H Ultra HD foundation. Um, I like this foundation. It's nice when I want like a lighter coverage. So I thought I would bring that as well. I'm also bringing my favorite BB cream, also because I'm trying to use this up, but this is the Maybelline Dream Pure BB. This is the one with salicylic acid in it, so I'm bringing that along. And then I'm bringing this little sample of the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation in the shade Dynamic, um, which is their lightest shade, I believe, to try. I got a little deluxe size sample, and I wanted to take this with me to try because I'm very curious about it to see if I like it. So I'm going to take this with me to try while I am there. For eye primers, I'm bringing two. I'm going to bring my Jessie's Girl eyeshadow primer and an e.l.f. eyeshadow primer just to make sure I don't run out. Um, I didn't really go in order here, did I? Um, so for, um, eyeshadow, for, eyeshadow, for face primers, I'm bringing the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer. This is the smoothing one. Yeah. Sorry, I have a visitor behind me. <laughs> this is the smoothing primer from Makeup Forever. And then I'm also bringing the smoothing primer from Maybelline. I was, I really want to bring my new, Men's Nivea Post Shave Balm, but that just isn't travel friendly. So I either need to find a way to, you know, put some in for travel or something going forward. But for now, I'm just going to bring these. And for concealers, I'm bringing my NYX, NYX Bye Bye Under Eye. Why am I saying everything is NYX today? <laughs> the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And then I'm running low on my Maybelline Fit Me, so I'm going to bring my um, NYX HD in porcelain as well, just to make sure I have enough concealer. So that's everything in the, the face, face primer section. The second section of the pouch is for blush, bronzer, highlight, all that sort of good stuff. For contour and highlight, I'm just going to bring my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette because it has everything I need all in one. It has like a cooler tone shade and a bronzer shade so I can just bronze up um, if I want to do that as well. And I can contour. Um, for blush, I'm bringing the new Tarte Blush Palette, the Live, Laugh, Love, something other. This has Live, Laugh, Love, and Dream, this one. 
and I'm also bringing the limited edition Tarte Blush in Oasis. This one is just slightly more nude than anything that's in here. So I'm bringing those. And for highlight in the palette, I'm bringing my Sleek palette that I love. And I also have one more to show you that I'm carrying separately. So I did pack my e.l.f. Um, Complete Coverage Concealer in this part as well, just because there wasn't room in the face side. Um, but for eyes, I'm bringing the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee Single. Um, I'm wearing the Naked, um, Original Naked. I just got this in the Urban Decay Vault. Um, I died a little. Um, and so I really like this already. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this as well as the Naked 2 Basics because I have a bunch of warm crease shades, um, a bunch of warm transition shades, so I thought it would be good to make sure I had some cool transition shades, so that's why I'm bringing Naked 2 Basics with me as well to complement that. I also have in here my brow product. I'm still really loving the um, BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio in light. Um, I'm still really enjoying this bugger. So I'm gonna bring it. And I'm also bringing one of my MILF, one of my MILF, one of my ELF makeup remover pens. Um, I also packed a NYX, um, a green NYX concealer. For eyeliner, I went a little overzealous because my, apparently I do everything overzealously. So for brown eyeliner, I have the Mally Dark Chocolate Eyeliner, and that's really been working on my lower lash line. And then for my upper lash line, or when I want to use black eyeliner, I brought the Laura Geller Ink Credible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in Blackbird. Um, so I have those. And then also for my upper lash line, I packed my Ride or Die Jessie's Girl Liquid Liner, and I packed the Tarte Tardist Paint Liner for when I don't want to do a wing. And for mascara, I am bringing along my Essence Lash uh, Princess. Ooh, hello, my Elf. Uh, this is the False Lash Effect Mascara. I have it on today. I don't necessarily say this is false lash appropriate, but I do enjoy it. And I'm also bringing my tight line full lash length three in one um, for my lower lash line, the It Cosmetics one. Although I may end up having to replace it while I'm there. I think I might want to be out. And I don't have a backup. And the last one in here is brushes. And some of these will look familiar to you guys because you saw them in my eye video. So for face, I brought my Sephora brush. I love this brush for contouring and for using blush. This is the Pro Angled Blush Brush. I also have a the EcoTools. Um, this is the EcoTools Fan Brush. I use that for applying um, highlighter. But I thought in case I decided I wanted to do something a little different for highlight, I brought one of the uh, Real Techniques Bold Metal Brushes. Those don't have names. Um, I brought a couple of Morphe brushes for blending. Um, a couple of Morphe brushes for blending. Those are in that eye video. I'll try to link that below for you. Quite a few brushes from the other eye set that I mentioned um, from Sony Kashuk. I also brought my brow brush. Um, just a fluffy crease brush. Um, sorry, my battery is dying. Hold on a moment. Sorry about that. So um, I also brought a one more um, flat brush, an eyeliner brush for if I want to do some smoking out of the lower lash line, um, an inner corner highlight brush, and a lip brush. And I'm about to screw up and forget some essentials here. I have my um, brush cleaner, my sharpener, 
um, my uh, eyelash curler and my tweezers, which are not in here right now, but I'm going to pack some tweezers as well. And the last thing are, the last things are kind of separate from it. And I haven't even changed these over yet. So I'm going to take one of these little lash things with me. And I was going to bring the big lash story, but that doesn't really make any sense. So I'm just going to move these three over to this. Okay, so these are the three pairs of lashes that I'm bringing. The top pair here is the Kiss Lash in Daisy. Um, the second pair is the... Um, which ones are they? They're the the Walmart lashes, the Salon Perfect. And then the last ones are the Strike 12 lashes from Oh My Lash. So those are the three I'm going to take. And let's see, will they fit in here? Yes, yes they will. Okay, so that's everything in the Joy Mungo bag. And then I'm also bringing um, Violet Voss because I love it. And I'm bringing just like a little assortment of eyeshadows. These are a little bit of a mixture of MAC and Makeup Geek. Um, mostly lid shades that I really love. And then a highlighter. This is... Um, one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters, and this is one of the dupe that highlighters. So a pink highlighter and a yellow gold highlighter. As, uh, <laughs> a pink and a gold highlighter, as well as the ones that I already packed. And so lastly, for lip products, again, I probably packed too many, but I packed enough to fit in this bag. I'm bringing four liners because, no, I'm sorry, five liners. I'm bringing five liners to go with the different lipsticks that I brought. I'm bringing uh, Gwen Stefani, um, Urban Decay Collab, and Firebird, which is what I have on today in case you guys are wondering. Um, I'm bringing the Bella Pierre Cosmetics in Cinnamon. I'm bringing the Essence Liner in Satin Mauve. Uh, Jordana Rock in Rose and Jordana Sedona Red. And then for lips, so, so I know I brought way too many lipsticks with me, but I wasn't sure what kind of mood I was going to be in. So I brought liquid lipsticks and regular lipsticks. So um, for liquid lipsticks, I brought three of the Jordana uh, Sweet Cream Matte Lipsticks. I brought Creme Brulee, um, Rose Macaroon, and Tiramisu. I'm also bringing Stila Baki. I also have Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Americano and Ofra in Venice. This is just a bright red. I thought it might be fun to, to play up a bright li red lip sometime while we're out on the town. Um, and then for regular lipstick formula, um, I'm bringing the um, L'Oreal Lipstick in Tenderberry. Urban Decay's Firebird, um, Molasses by Bite, Saki by Bite, um, both of my Urban Decay Sheer Revolution lipsticks. I feel like these always come together. <laughs> they go everywhere together. They're best friends. Um, sheer Rapture and Sheer Liar, and an H&M lipstick in, in a nutshell. Why don't I swatch these for you guys so you can see what colors I'm bringing. So there is some overlap, um, but I felt like it. So here's the line, the lip liners that I'm bringing. So, so I'm going exactly backwards. So that's Sedona Red, Rock and Rose, um, Satin Mauve, Bella Pierre Cinnamon, and Firebird from Urban Decay. And then for lipsticks here, so this top row is. The Jordana lipstick, um, the Jordana in um, creme brulee, then rose macaroon, then tiramisu, then baki, then americano from Ofra. That's Stila Baki. Um, Ofra americano, um, 
Oh, for Venice. Then this is the L'Oreal Lipstick in Tenderberry. Then we have Urban Decay Firebird. Then we have Bite Molasses and Bite Saki. Okie dokie guys, so that's everything that I'm packing with me for my vacation. I know I packed too much stuff, feel free to judge me if you want, but maybe this kind of gives you an idea of the stuff I've been liking, and, excuse me, and have been curious about. Um, let me know if there's anything you want specific reviews on that you haven't seen. Uh, some of these are probably pretty familiar to you guys, so you're probably not surprised to see them going in my travel bag. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are some must-haves that you guys travel with? I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.